Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you the very basics of working with list views in Django. So list views are a way to easily create views in Django that just display a list of things. So in our case, we have a member model here and it has a list of members. So we want to easily display that list of members in a template. So just to show you that I have members in the table already, I can go here on my admin dashboard and I see I have 20 members. And if I click on one, they have first name, last name, email, city, and IP address. So let's go ahead and create a view for our list view. So what I need to do first is import from django.views.generic, and I'm going to import list view. So this is a class, so capital L, capital V. And then what I want to do is create a class and give it a name. So I'm going to give it the name member and then list, and then it needs to inherit from list view. And then the only thing my class needs to have is the model. So model equals the model that I want to display a list of. So member, so I need to import that. So from dot models, import member. And then I can set model equal to member. And I'm done with views. So now I need a URL for this. So I'll go to URLs and I'll import that member list that I just created. So from example dot views import member list and I'll just give that a path. So the path will be a member underscore list and it's going to take in the member list. But since this is a class, I have to use as view on it. So as view is a method that will convert this class space view to the appropriate form so Django knows where to send the user when they go to member list. So now what I need to do is I need to go to a template and work with a list of things that I get. So by default, Django is going to look for a template called the name of the app slash the name of the model underscore list HTML. So here an example is the app. So I need to create a folder called templates first. And then inside of templates, I'll create another folder called example because it's the name of the app. And then I'll create a file in here called member underscore list.html because member is the name of the model. So in here, what I can do is I can loop over the items that Django will gather for me. So to do that, you just have a for loop. So for, and let's say member in, and what Django will name this thing is object list. So object list will contain all my members. So uh, in four down here. And what I can do is I can display things about the member. So I can have the member first name, uh, the should be a dash, a member last name, and then let's have their IP address as well. So member, IP address, just like that. So we have other fields, but we'll just work with those three. So first name, last name, and IP address. And then we'll put a line break after this. So it creates a new member on each line. So now let's go to our endpoint and go to slash member list. And we see the members here. So if we wanted something else instead of IP address, we can just change it. We can have like email, do I have email address or just email? So email. And then if I go here, we should see emails instead of IP addresses, which we do. So with very little code, we are able to create a view that does something that's pretty useful, that's pretty common in web apps. Uh, really, it's just what, two lines of code here after the imports, uh, because it's so common that Django just made this generic class for us to handle this case. So of course there are other options, but I just want to show you the simplest case. So if you have any questions about list views, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.